last time we saw how we could use the get date method to extract the day of the month from a date. This time we're going to get the day of the week and our method is get day. Here's our JavaScript source code. Now the first thing I'm doing once again is I'm declaring a variable. In this case I've named the variable D and I'm making it equal to a new value of the date method. The date method once again goes out to your system clock and extracts the date and time information stored there. The next thing that I do is to write out the day of the week number. And so I have to use the get day function within my document write statement. And so here I am concatenating D dot get day function to my sentence the day of the week number is and we will get a number zero for Sunday one for Monday today is Saturday so we will get a six the next thing that I do is to determine what the day is and print the word. So I'm using the method get day in a nested if. And essentially what I do is I go through every day of the week beginning with the first day Sunday. And I'm looking at the get day method and comparing it to the number I would expect if it was Sunday. And if I have a match, I write out the word Sunday. If not, I go on and look again and compare it to 1, which is what I would expect for a Monday. And I continue that throughout the entire week. So it's just one big nested if. Let's take a look at a test run. Here's our web page. All we need to do to test our code is to refresh this page. So let's get on with it. There you go. Today is Saturday and the day of the week number returned by get day is 6. So we're able to display the day as a number. And then we went through our nested ifs and compared the results of the get day method to a numeric literal first zero then one and so on until we determine that the day is in fact Saturday and we print that out 